with this one command, you can build a Linux server in the cloud instantly. So I talk a lot about using Linode for virtual machines, whether it's playing with something or building an actual app. And that's not because any of my videos are sponsored by Linode, because I just like Linode very much. And besides them being really easy to use, one of the reasons why I like Linode is because they are very clear in their pricing structure. But they also have a built-in marketplace with predefined apps and settings for servers where you can search for what you're wanting to work on and just select it and spin up the server that way and save you some time. And you have a really useful dashboard once you log in where you see my NTFY alert server that's running all the time and then you see the Ubuntu server that spun up at the beginning of this video. So how do you create an account so that you can play with Linode? It's really simple. Just go to the bottom of this video and you'll see a link for a $100 Linode credit. And then once you sign up, you'll get a free $100 credit, which is going to take you a month or two to use, especially if you're just starting out and you're playing with it to see how it looks. You can sign in using your Google account, your GitHub account, or even your email. And then once you sign in and you've verified your account, you can go to your dashboard, which will be empty, and click on create. For this example, we're going to create a limit. I tend to stick with the Ubuntu 20 and you can choose whatever works for you in your environment. And then you're going to select your region. Typically, the closer it is to you, the faster the connection is going to be between the two of y'all. But you can select wherever you want to. Now, the price and scale goes for de dedicated CPU or shared in CPU. For everything I use, I use shared. For this example, we're going to go with Nano 1 just to save on speed and as you can see it's five dollars a month or 0 0.00075 cents an hour and we're going to give it a fancy label we're just going to name it linux 3 and give it a super simple password and then simply click create and while it's provisioning it's going to give you this dashboard here what you can do is click on launch lish console and that will show you the actual command interface of what's going on on your server so that you can actually see when it's up and ready to get to. And then once it's up, I'll close this LISH console and copy this SSH command for root. And then I will open PowerShell and access it through PowerShell. Now being my first time in, I always run sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade. I have to spell it right. There we go. Now if you want to create a script like I used at the beginning of this video to instantly create you a Linode server, what you'll do is you'll go back over here, click create a Linode, and you set all your base settings, which for me is an Ubuntu 20, and we'll check Atlanta for this one, shared CPU. For this script, I typically do a Linode 2. We'll keep the label, give it a super simple password, that might not be long enough, we'll see. But instead of clicking create, click create using command line and you're going to copy this curl command. You'll go into Linux. Then you're going to do vi, sudo vi. Give it a name like create Linode ASUS command here. And if you look at the command, it's going to look for your authorization token and it's going to have all those presets in here. And then it's going to go to your dashboard. So we're going to save this, but before we can run it, we need to go get that token. So if you go back to your profile, to your dashboard and click on the drop down by your username, you'll see an option for API tokens. Click on there and create a personal token. This is going to be for our quick script. Give a super simple label, set it to expire, and then you can limit what type of access you want. In this example, I'm just going to give it a little bit of everything. Click create. And then we'll give you the option to download it or to copy it. From here we're going to copy it and go back to our script. And then we're going to edit our script by simply going up to the top, setting the token variable. And I always paste it inside of quotation marks. I'm going to save that, do a quick ls, and you'll see it's not executable yet. So we'll do sudo chmod, it's x for executable, create Linode. ls shows it as executable now. Now we simply will run it. And like I thought, it doesn't like that password. If you look at this error message, it says error reason, it says the password is. So to edit this from here, all we simply have to do is do sudo vi, and then come down to your password, and put in something, escape, cc, and then we run the script again. And believe it or not, that is what you'll see is, if it is successful, is you'll see all your commands echoed out to you. So you go back to your Linode dashboard, and here it is down here at the bottom, running currently, and created just a couple of minutes ago. This video here will give you more details on creating your home lab and your home lab environment, whether it be physical or virtual. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out more than you realize. And click subscribe so you know when the next video comes out. 
and leave me a comment down below of what you think of this video.